<laughs> well, we are back. We're back. It's been a while. Been slack. We've been well, slack. We've no. been ridiculously, awesomely, abundantly busy as usual. Um, and I went tonight. We just got back from dinner with the Perez parentals, <laughs> and um, thought that I went. Oh my god, we haven't done live in ages. And um, today's the day. Yes, today's the day. We had such great, inspiring conversations tonight at dinner that I went. Oh, you know what? Perfect time to roll with it. So, um, as always, we do want to know if you guys have got topics that you're like, you know what, you should talk about that. Like, please do share those things with us because um, that's where the magic happens. And it also saves us putting too much effort into the thoughts of it all because <laughs> I'm lazy like that. But yeah, lazy like that. Um, but it's more about you guys as well. And there's a lot of, a lot of conversations happening in the world. And then there's a lot of conversations that are not happening in the world. Mm. So it's going to come back to that later. And there seems to be uh, so much going on and people seem to be losing their freedom. They seem... Willingly. Willingly giving it away. They seem to be blind and lost following it. And we've sort of had this come up so many times and the idea and the thought that why do people just want to follow why why do people accept the basics for their freedom or the basics for their life and for us our highest value being freedom it, it gives us the opportunity to ask better questions to do more and to challenge ourselves to step outside of the status quo and change the way we think ultimately we're responsible for the way we feel we're in control of that and that's 100 percent a choice so don't get lost in the idea that somebody else can dictate to you the way that you feel or the way that you have to live your life. Just because there's a rule around it, most of these rules are bullshit rules anyway, but the point is, is take a moment to actually see and use some common sense of why it's important or whether it is or whether it's not. So I guess the first point is, my first question to you all would be what, hey Chucky, um, what is your value? What do you value? Is it family at the time? Is it freedom? Is it... Um, is it uh, travel? Like, what are the things that you actually value in your life? Is it good food? Is it good health? Yeah. Then, uh, I, should, I need to write these things down the rest of it. Then you just did say before about um, discover it and, and sort of interpret what is your highest value and work out what it means to you. And if it comes to, we're talking about specifically freedom tonight. What does that actually mean to you? What what does freedom mean to you? Most people will have a basic idea or maybe actually haven't really spent any time thinking about it to discover and understand what it actually means to them. Mm. In most cases, and for me, when we talk about freedom, it's the absolute clear ability to be able to choose. Doesn't mean that I'm going to completely rebel against anything or whatever it happens and to be. And you're not always going to choose the right thing. Thus is the learning <laughs> curve of being a human, right? We are humans, and I've always called it the human messiness state. Is mm -hmm. you are a human having a messy experience and floundering through this thing that we call the ether, the world, the earth, and we are doing our best with the tools of which we have. Know that that every human, at which in every state, in every moment, is doing the best they can with the tools they have, which I would also argue the other side of that and say that you have chosen to have those tools yeah. by ignorance, by choice, by stress. And that's something you said before, and I'm going to say that most most rules, most laws, and most of the things that we're talking about here that, that push against our freedom were created by dictatorship mm -hmm. and were created by fear. Fear of their own lack of ability to own their space of their choices and seek and be in freedom. Because inside of freedom is your own choice, your own responsibility. And from that space, you are actually the right, the wrong, and everything in between. So from that space, a lot of dictatorship will have a problem at the fact that in there, they have to own it. So why not create fear? Why not create trauma? Why not create drama where humans are conditioned to respond to recoil, to become small, to become uh, the victim and to ride that gravy train to the point of no freedom and of no choice. And some of you may wake up some days and go, this is shit and hate that. And, and then go, I should, re no, but then I won't have, and then I won't have this. And then my friends might not like me. And then I might be one of those people that's speaking against the things. And how, 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 who would I be then? Then I'd be one of those. And my question to you is, is, what do you really mean by that? What does that actually mean for you? What does freedom mean for you? And if you were to stand out and speak up and speak your truth and be honest when you look in the mirror and be honest when you're speaking to those you love, uh, 
what the fudge does that even mean? You know, you're here for freedom. What? So you can eat, sleep, work and repeat? Gee, that sounds thoroughly wonderful. Like, <laughs> really? We're here for a lot more than that. One of the questions I would ask is, and most people assume that our rules and laws have come from a good place or that they're there for a reason. Most of the laws and rules we have are simply about control. We've accepted them because we've bought into the bullshit code that it's here for our safety. Well, you know what? Most people actually don't give a shit about your safety. In a lot of these cases, the people that are bringing in these laws and rules are simply to control and to make their life easier. Mm. They're not brought in from a conscious standpoint because even when we, we talk about speed limits and all these things, we're not going to go down that path. But every single thing happens, first of all, because it was meant to, second of all, because you chose it to. The other part is in that perfect timing, even though it might not seem like perfect timing. But if you have a car accident, for an accident or an incident to happen, every single thing, millions of circumstances had to take place for any one incident to happen. Mm -hmm. That meant that your parents had to be shaken at the exact right time, otherwise you wouldn't be there at that exact right time or the wrong time for that incident to actually happen. So every single little thing is tied so intrinsically together that it's an incident, not an accident. They don't call these things accidents in court anymore. They're all incidents because they're so tied together. The point with this is, is most rules, most laws are brought in to make somebody else's life easier, not your life better. Mm -hmm. And my question would be, you don't have to rebel, but to take your part of the freedom and take your freedom to choose and go, does this rule work? And the way to make a better society is not to join a rebellion, but to independently rebel when needed. Mm. So that's, stand for your own cause. Stand, stand, stand in your truth. Don't stand in your belief. Stand in, in your truth. Stand in what is real. Mm. Stand in what makes sense. Mm. Stand in honesty and, and understand that this doesn't make sense. Now it's time to fight and there is always a time to fight. Don't and let the world tell you that there's not. Doesn't make sense. What is the thing that we assume you should do, right? I don't understand. What does that mean? You're asking a question. The thing is, as many of us go, I don't understand, and someone throws something shiny at you and you forget to continue asking questions. And that's where a lot of us humans, what do children do? Why? 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 And what happens is parents, we say, shut up. What happens with the government and the police? They say, shut up and stop asking questions. And they will find some way of distracting you, shiny objects, chaos, drama, trauma, fear. COVID. And they will, COVID, <laughs> and they will create all the things that will enable you to stop asking the questions, fall into fear, retract, and uh, and contract, construct, con What's the word I'm looking for? Shrink your mind and your ability to ask better questions. Now, we, the, 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 the title of this was Follow Versus Living Your, your Truth. And it's like, in a relationship, you meet someone and you're attracted to their shiny new qualities, their persona, their perspective, their values, which may quite often be a lot different to yours because we're so ridiculously similar, yet we are more than happy to challenge each other, to yeah. question each other, to, to ask bigger questions of each other and, and, and to, to push against the belief that the other one is representing because we choose to be continuously growing, continuously conscious. If you were to meet someone and be like, oh my God, and start following, frothing over them and, and accepting everything they say as truth, how many of you out there have had a relationship or a relationship where you have, fallen for someone and thought that they were the be all and end all and to have rose colored glasses. These are a great little um, construct here. Welding glasses work pretty glasses. well. I think we've all had those ones on before. <laughs> Some of us have had welding glasses on where you can't see the truth and we will sit there and live out this lie. Why? Because it's easier to surrender our own inhibitions, our own qualities, our own values and flounder after someone else who may have just a little bit more of an interjection in life and where they're going, a little bit more passion, a little bit more questioning of life and you may follow them without question and where does that always lead you it has always led you if you look back through your past through some amazing destinations amazing traumas and i will say that they are amazing traumas because they didn't kill you you're still here and hopefully my goodness you've learned so in that perspective following the person that is beside you is not the right thing to do following anyone is not the right thing to do to be inspired to think, grow, and perceive things in a different way, just for a moment to construct your own thoughts and beliefs and move forward in your own abilities is the true destination of 
creating and relating in a connection with another human being is to find what makes sense and logic and create your own truth, your own values, your own perspectives, and just dance and play and flirt with that little concept for a while and see where it takes your life. Well, I think the thing that ties in here is what do you think you're actually here for? And I think most people never actually really take that in. Mm. There's so many little bits I'm and pieces. I'm here to work. You're here to work? I'm here to earn money. Life. And then I'm going to work and I'm going to earn money. I'm going to work and I'm going to earn money. And then I'm going to really, really stick and potentially almost die and then realize I need the money to get healthy again. Absolutely. That's and what most people end like... up doing. I feel like what ends up happening here, and the reason I ask the question is, what are you actually here for? Oh, yes, we're here to have an experience. Yes, we're here to learn. We're here to grow. Following and doing what the last people did in your life or the people that are setting an example, that's not how we grow. This is not how society grows. This is not how we evolve. You think back before there was the written word. Society only grew at a certain level because they could only take on what their parents or grandparents actually taught. Now we have the written word, we have computers, we're evolving at a hell of a speed because you can actually take on a full generation of information quite quickly. The idea here, though, is to actually dissect it and not just buy into the bullshit because the mm. truth is not very often. And it's the written very, word very is short. limited. There's always pointers to truth. The written word is still limited. Yeah. Can you read, if I read you one sentence, each and every one of you would feel something different from that sentence, right? Because that is your perspective based on your past, your truths, your histories, and your, your everything. So I will say the one sentence, and each and every one of you, some might feel it in your stomach, some might feel it in the back of your tongue, the back of your neck, wherever. And that's because you're an individual human having an individual perspective. And what so many of you have been conditioned to do is to not trust that, to not trust the gut, to not trust the instincts, to not trust your truth. Because holy shivers, if everybody else is here and you just boing, happen to come over here with a whole new perspective, where are you? You're alone. But I, rem I wish to remind you, the pioneers, the creators, the scientists, and the most magical and scariest humans in the world were the ones that stuck out and continued on their own path. Because they realized that sometimes you get over here and outside of the smog, the smell, the heat, the chaos of the other humankind, there is some truth, some new perspective, new energy, and potentially your human potential being explored to its truest and greatest potential and from there if you can actually step into that understanding you'll understand you're all here for your own little -doing special thing and um if you forget that you are a follower you are a sheep and you have you have given up your right and your magic that you were born with and that's an injustice there's some real cool perspectives there of seeing what we're actually here for and the way to actually i like that noise too that makes it makes a whole lot of sense <laughs> when we start looking at where we're growing and what we're actually here for Take this in seriously and have a look at it. What do you want of this world? Not just what do you want for yourself. How do you want this world to go? How do you want the society to look when you're dead? How do you, what impact can you actually make on this world? And I would argue that for a society to grow great, we can't be still doing the same shit that was done before. We need to look outside that box into the free world. We need free thinkers. We don't need followers. Followers are not very helpful. Yes, no, if you want to have a dictatorship, and an army, you do need a certain degree of those. But if you're facing some that, serious is challenges... Following, is that following or is that inspiration, camaraderie, and joining together to join forces and create momentum? Well, there is a perspective of that. There is a perspective of that. But the problem that I see with a lot of these when you jump into, say, a full rebellion, it's very easy to get lost and to be on a one-track mind of what everyone else is doing. So if we had the ability to access more free thought then we can actually make better choices. We can actually stand stronger and actually explore and go, you know what? This old way of doing this isn't serving us anymore. The world's changed. The times have changed. We've got stronger. We've got better. We can do this in a better way and actually use some free thoughts, some free will and some of that magic mm. and make something better. We can leave something better behind. We can do things from that conscious standpoint where you can plant the trees your shade you're not going to ever spend any time under that's how a society grows great mm. but when it comes back to your center you're going to feel better every time that you do something that might not necessarily be the law might not be necessarily legal but it's conscious mm. 
Mm. If you're That's stealing a car to save a life, that is the right thing to do. If if you if you have to do completely the wrong thing, but for a higher level of existence or a, or a much better cause, that is the right thing to do. Mm. If we have to rebel against the powers that be in this country so that our children and our grandchildren have a much better life, that is the right thing to do, regardless of what the damn politicians would say or the police would say. Mm. And I would mm. say that if any of them are fighting against that, they no longer work for us. They are no longer public servants. They are just Nazis. Yep. They actually need that point and they need to step into that consciousness and go, you know what? This makes no sense. Because again, regardless of what you will say, people will come and say, they have a job, but it's just not a job. I'm sorry, that is not acceptable. It's a cop out to be able to say, this is just my job. That's what the uh, people working for Hitler all said. This is just my job. That is not good enough. Live consciously. Elevate your freedom and Don't stop repeat. following consistently. Mm -hmm. Don't repeat. And I would ask you this. When you have... You can look back through your... Oh, change it. You can reflect back through your life and know the points at which you were living freely with your own choices and making your own choices versus following. And I guarantee if you could just find a moment in which you thought freely, you felt empowered, you felt mm. scared shitless, but you felt powerful and you were in control and you were motivated and scared, but motivated. Your soul was on fire. And then you think of a time where you set submitted. down your tools, mm. you submitted, not in some of the fun ways, but you submitted <laughs> and you chose to give up and to follow. I know you too felt that part of you that just died. died. Just died. You felt that part of you. So all these people that are, oh, but I want to travel, so I'm going to I'm gonna do as I'm told. I bet so much of you feels like it's giving up. So much of you feels like it's betraying your next generation. We all can sit there in this moment and think about what's going on in the world. And think, gee, if I was to rebel against this, my gosh, it would be scary. And gosh, I might be on my own and I might feel like I might get in trouble, which is so exciting at the same time. And then think about giving up, surrendering, giving in, giving up your rights. How does your soul feel now, right? Yeah. How does your soul actually feel? I bet there's still a bit of fear there. That didn't go away giving up, did it? Giving away your rights, doing as you were told. Do you feel safe? Do you really feel safe? I guarantee you don't. There comes a point, I think, in everyone's life where you, you have to realise and you have to fight because there comes a point where that giving up just becomes a slow, mind-numbing death. And there's a lot of people that are stuck in their jobs and they've been in or stuck in the same damn position. And you can look at these people and they look like they've aged 10 years and 6 months because they are actually mm. dead. They've stopped living, they've stopped experiencing, they've rolled over, taken off the ass, and they're just... Dying. Mm. Funnily enough, we watched that. Like, it's it's I really. We're gone with that. <laughs> funnily, funnily enough, what we watched into. Uh, <clears throat> ah, I'll keep this slightly less. PG. Uh, more PG. More um, PG. Funnily enough, what's the easiest way to lie to someone? What's the easiest way to manipulate someone? To do it right in front of them. Okay. Is the fastest and easiest way to manipulate, lie, and control someone. Funnily enough, what are our movies all about? We watched one last night with Adam Sandler about um, uh, someone found an actual cure for cancer. And so all of the companies that did um, the chemo went and killed them because that would put them out of trillions of dollars. Why would we save humans when we can make money from them? Food for thought. Yeah, I think there's some really, really interesting thoughts. A lot there. of movies are out there speaking quite controversial concepts and it's thoughts. in plain sight it's in plain sight and if you dress some of these things up it doesn't it seems sarcastic and as if anyone would do it do that in plain sight and a um, very wise man once said that if you give people uh 10 percent truth i believe the 90 percent that's not mm -hmm. and i feel like the governments the of the day have gone along with that sort of fact that wise man was adolf hitler mm -hmm. um but the point with this is this is what's happening consistently and we talked about it tonight you had a partner that was lying consistently and it was obvious lies. They were cheating, they were doing all of the things that were consistently lying. Would you believe another damn word that come out of their mouth? And my question is... is and if you did, how do you feel? 
<laughs> and you don't. You don't believe it. You might have accept it. You don't believe it, but you accept it. You know damn well in your guts if someone's lying to you outright. And if you don't, well, you're going to feel pretty shit when you find out. Nevertheless, when you have this, it's in front of you. You know that it's a lie. You know that the stuff going on in the world right now, you know that the majority of it is bullshit. doesn't matter what it is. You don't have to accept this. Mm. You don't have to accept it. You don't. No one's saying that you have to fight. No one's saying you have to do that. But you don't have to accept it. Mm. You don't have to accept it. And you can say your piece. And if they're lying about this, then what else are they lying And the other point is, at the moment, we are in an age of information. And in an age of information, ignorance is a choice. So if you don't know what's going on, or it doesn't matter what the circumstances, if you're unsure about something, educate yourself. Mm. Take the time, spend the time. And if you don't, well, I'm sorry, that's all on you. That's your choice to ignorance live the way is, you are. Ignorance is bliss for a moment. The truth will actually create a lifetime of truth. <laughs> Anyway, we're, uh, with the echo joining in, um, I think that's kind of it. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. that's pretty well touch base for now. Mm, that was a hot topic on our tongues and on our minds, so we thought we'd share. But um, we aren't doing these every day, but when we do, we hope to really give you guys food for thought because um, yeah, it's about balance. Life is about balance. Looking at the good, the bad, the ugly, and the truth. And you'll find that once again, this all ties back to everything we consistently talk about, and that's why it's. This, these uh, little conversations are talking about consciousness. They're talking about balance. If you want to find the difference between freedom and the following, it's very, very simple. Freedom is about living consciously. Mm. There's a balance in this consistently. If you're following, if you're only following, the reason people follow is because it's easy. Mm. Living consciously is not. And the reason people follow is because it doesn't matter what happens, you can blame someone else. I challenge all of us to take some responsibility for our own actions and own our part. Don't just blame someone else. It doesn't matter what, what happens. You have a car accident, get out and say, mate, I'm sorry I was on the road today. Mm. That's your part. Whether someone T-bones you or not, I, I apologise for being on the road. On the road, oh, but that's your part. Mm. That's where it starts to become conscious, not blame someone else because, you know, whatever it happens to be. That's being a victim. Yeah. Stop living in the victimhood. Mm. But everything, again, comes back to that consistent consciousness and balance. Mm. Yeah. Where are you? Take, take, take a moment to look at your life and think, where am I following? And where am I living consciously? Where am I living really for my life? Perfect. Perfect. Thanks, guys. All right. See you soon.